I'm on here tonight. I look rough. It's been a rough couple of days, but I am now calling or coming on to just tell you all a little bit about how I prep to get ready to kill it with a scrapbook or a card kit. It applies to either. Um, I like to do certain things in advance. It's just kind of who I am. So I'm going to talk to you tonight about a kit that I have just dissected and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to change the camera because you don't need to see any more of this quite truthfully and I will put it down so you can see my hands and the kit and I hope this will help a lot of you get your work done quickly and easily especially if you're scrapbooking if you're anybody like a typical scrapbooker you're behind a lot probably I know I have been I've been in and out of the hospital this year yada 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 I'm so far behind I don't even know my name frankly so I was doing this the other night in preparation I thought you know what this might help a lot of other people I've been a professional scrapbooker. I have scrapbooked for people all over the world. And by the way, I think I forgot to introduce myself. Oh, Lord. It's that kind of a day. I'm Glenda Canuti, and I am the Glenda that's from Glenda's Creative Place. I have been around for a long time. And as I was saying, I have been a professional scrapbooker for many years. I have scrapbooked for people all over the world. I haven't been doing that recently just because of all my health stuff, but... I have a lot, a lot of scrapbook experience. And I want to try to see if I can just help pass that along. So here we go. I am going to put you down to look at the kit that I have dissected, because that's the way I find it easier. And here we go. Okay, so I am using one of the close to my heart um, subscription kits. Let me grab the whole thing for you. I should have had it out already. I ordered these a year at a time, and they come in this darling pink box. And because I do it a year at a time, there's four. I get those um, throughout the year, and there's four kits in here, and they are flipping amazing. So that's what they come in. And I'll just give you a sneak peek because you're going to see some stuff coming up. Not today, but... Here's the next one I'm probably going to work on. I also love this one. Oh, this one has the most beautiful colors. So, the other one that I am working on today is called I Heart Happy. I believe this is what the name of it is. You'd think I would know, wouldn't you? After looking at it. But what they come with, first off, real quick, they come with everything you need except adhesive. So... Um, yeah, it's called I Heart Us, meaning I love us. This is what the opening page looks like. And these are the directions. This subscription, if you want to get a whole bunch of stuff done quick, this is the way you want to go. Let me assure you. I'm going to be doing a series of these that are going to show you the difference between this simple subscription kit. And the best part about the subscription kit is... We call these our cut, oh, you can't see it up there. They are called cut above kits. The reason they're called cut above, because you don't have to even have a pair of scissors. Yes, girls, you heard me. You punch things out. Remember when you were young and you might have punched out paper dolls? That's what you do. So each kit comes with two double page layouts. Or if you prefer, you can do them, you know, four single pages, whatever your mode is. But I'm a double pager for the most part. So what I did, oh, let me finish telling you something else. It comes with the base pages, so you don't even have to, like, cut stuff and everything else. Um, there's the base pages. Oops, wrong. There you go, Glenda. That might make a little better sense. You guys can see that, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then it comes with everything. Die cuts. And it comes with stickers. 
And here's one of my favorite things. And I'm going to tell you this because I used to have my own online scrapbook store and I am a proverbial page protector snob. Yep, page protector snob. Why would you go... Let me switch back over for a second so I can talk to you guys. Why in the world would you go through all the trouble that we go through to make beautiful layouts? We want to preserve this for our family, right? Isn't that why we do it? I know that's why I do it. When I'm gone from this earth, I want a history of my Canuti family. I want my three boys that are all adults now, which is why I'm telling you I'm so far behind. But I also want it to be saved for the generation after that. My grandchildren, I already have two. Of course, more boys. That's all we can produce in our family, apparently. Still waiting. And also, I want it to even go beyond them. I work with paper and things that are acid-free. Close to my heart is very very careful about these kinds of things but you do all that work you do the right supplies you put the right stuff you use the right adhesive why are you going to put your beautiful layouts in some wimpy little page protector that is not going to hold up you want good page protectors and one of the reasons i fell in love with close to my heart after having my own online scrapbook store let me just tell you I had my own store, which meant I could buy from all the top manufacturers for f generally 50% off. I had a friend. She's very naughty. She introduced me to Close to My Heart several years ago. I fell in love hard when I had my own scrapbook store. So what happened was I was buying things for, from her for full price at the same time that I was buying other supplies for myself at 50% off. And then I had another really bad health scare. And when I came back, I knew I was not going to be able to do my scrapbook store the same way. So what I decided was once I was well enough and got my hands working a little bit then, I decided to join Close to My Heart simply based on the fact of their quality products. So that's my quick story. All right, back to the kit. I just, I'm telling you, it's unusual to see the page protectors in a kit, ladies and gentlemen. Very unusual. There's no more excuses. You finish your page, pop it in, and on to the next. Okay, here we go. Ready? Now, we're going to come back and we're going to look at the kit. Here's what I do. I look at the instructions just a little bit generally. And then how these are worked out is there's layout one, as you can see here, this is layout one, these two, these are layout two. Not only is that easy peasy wheezy, but all of these die cuts, are you seeing that? Layout one die cuts. I go in, I pop all those out, and if I can get them in a small, I keep a couple different sizes usually in these bags, I will pop them out and I will put them in here and label it layout one, side one. Yeah, I'm that bad, you guys. I like things to be organized when I get ready to scrapbook. Because when I get down and I'm in creative mode, I want to go. And I mean, I want to go. I don't want to wait around. The other thing that is um, in these kits like this is it'll say layout one stickers. So these are stickers. Now, I've done a little bit of prep work also, and the reason that I've done some prep work is because you just heard me tell you that I have all boys, no girls yet, and so it's horrifying in one way. I mean, I adore them, but it's horrifying in one way because I'm such a glitter girl and a pink girl, etc., so what I do ahead of time, if I look at some of these things that I'm going to be putting on, I will go in and I will take one of my shimmer brushes from close to my heart, but this is my absolute favorite. It's clear. So it just puts on, I hope you guys can see this. My lights are a little wild in here tonight. Hold on, let me try it this way. Um, it just puts on the most beautiful sheen if you do it correctly, especially. 
Can you guys get that or not? I hope so. Oh, I hope you can see it. So I will do that kind of prep work ahead of time because it makes things a little bit malleable and you don't want that. I want things nice and dry. Can you see it there, you guys? Let me see. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Yay for a ring light. Bad for looking at my glasses, but good for this kind of stuff. Woohoo! Okay. So I do these kind of things ahead of time. While I'm punching them, usually, wait, I'm wrong. Not while I'm punching them out. I like to do it while they're still in here. I did all of these before I punched any of these out, okay? That is good prep work because then everything is dry, easy peasy, ready to go when you're ready to go. That's the important thing. Just because I did all this work, and I did it a couple nights ago, I haven't put the kit together yet because quite truthfully, I have not felt well at all for the last few days, and it's been a rough couple of days, and therefore, I haven't felt like doing full-blown scrapbooking, but the good news is the minute that I feel better, it's all ready to go. So this is all my stuff for, um, that was side two. And then also, these are some sequins that belong to the main kit called I Heart Us in our, um, let me get it for you and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, where did I put it, Glenda? Oh, here. I put it where it belongs. Oh, wouldn't, isn't that something? Okay, so in the catalog, what they do with these subscription kits, they make them so that they also go along with the different things in our catalog. There's those yummy sequins. Look at all those colors. They're all rainbowy. And just so you know, this kit series that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing the most simple kit. I'm going to be doing the most... Um, the next step up, which is what they call a workshop your way, and you have to cut all the paper. Nobody's holding your hand and cutting it out for you. And then they have really stepped it up this year on some of these and made a deluxe scrapbooking kit. And these are made to teach you serious techniques to be a better scrapper. So I'm going to be doing a whole line of these, starting with the easy peasy, which is what we're looking at here. And then I'm going to be doing the regular workshops your way. And I'm also going to be doing those deluxe. <laughs> Wish me luck, girls. Okay, so this is what I do. I wanted to just show you guys, even the foam dots. I want my foam dots that I want to use. I think I want to use both thicknesses. Um, I think I also put, yep, I've got adhesives already out. I love a tape runner. I hate liquid glue. I'm sorry, I do. There are two liquid glues that you can, well, there's three that I will use, but there's generally two. But I'll tell you about those one. I love the Tombow Blue Runner. It is called Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive. But there is a little trick. If you're careful and you put it where you don't want it, you can rub it off. Plus, let me get this out for you. Oh, God, this is so bad looking. I've even cut it in half. This is an eraser for adhesive. If you don't have one of these, you need to go on my Close to My Heart shopping site, which is listed down below in here, and get one because this can save your life. Okay, the other thing I like, and we don't sell this, is the Tombow Mono Adhesive Removable. Want to know why I like these? Because on the page kits, and I'll show you again on this here, it lays out your photos. But if you're not ready, you can do this. Are you ready? Do you see it? They give you these for putting on your mats or however it's going on there. So you can finish an entire layout even if you don't have your photos ready. Woohoo! That's awesome to me because I used to subscribe to the I Can't Scrapbook until I have all my photos ready. And sometimes that would really just hang me up for days on end or weeks 
or sometimes even months, you guys. Let's be let's be truthful about it, okay? So that is why I love a removable adhesive. I throw these bad boys on there. See, I did this a couple days ago. Oh, oh, look at that. It just came right off. That's removable adhesive. Now let me see if I can get it back on here correctly. Mm, a little crooked, Glenda. Hold on. No worry. And the other thing is, I typically try to remember to even, if I don't have the pictures, I told you guys, I'm cattywampus, look at me. Okay, if I don't have my pictures, I will also often put these mats down with removable adhesive because I might find the most perfect pictures and I wasn't even thinking about them for a particular layout and I come back in and it's all set up, for example, like this layout, the ones I'm showing you. They want you to have three here, one there of a certain size, three here. And by the way, those are portrait. I don't take a lot of portrait photos. So the good thing is if you're smart enough to put it on with, you can get the whole thing ready to roll. But if it turns out you have landscape photos that just work perfect, then by George, you can just take your photo mats right off. You can, you won't need this now, but see these photo placement cards have it on both sides, whether it's landscape or portrait. And you will not have messed up your layout. Hello. I know we're all busy. And I think the thing that is the worst problem now, because I've been around since way before there were smartphones, okay? Now that we have so many photos, and I mean so many, I can't even tell you how many I have sitting on my iPhone right now, but it's awful. It's embarrassing, frankly. Let me talk to you guys seriously. When you have that many photos, I know, and of course I'm a person with ADHD, I know that, so a lot of stuff makes me crazy to look at. But when you've got a thousand and some photos sitting on your iPhone, I know I have more than that right now, plus I have like a maxed out iCloud account three hard drives, and Dropbox. Okay. I have a lot of photos. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard for us to decide because we have so many. So when you're making a kit, you might already have an event in mind, but you might not have mined out the perfect photos from that event. Go ahead, girlfriends. Make it. Get it done and get it ready. And then when you take the time to go through the hundred or so photos from the last birthday party that you went to for one of your grandkids, at least, then you'll be ready to roll because you'll already know I have X amount of layouts. And can I move this camera without destroy? Oh, I probably can't. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try something. Oh, I might be so sorry. Hold on. I'm going to try this camera. Woohoo! Okay, do you see up there in the corner on these IKEA shelves all the way up? That's where I call, that's where I keep an album, which I call a holding album. And I often have more than one going because you can set up albums all ready to go from certain years. And you can tell I'm so far behind because there's only one up there right now. But don't tell anybody. But I do have a few under my desk ready to go also. Just pure truth. If you get an album set up and you finish, let's say, let's pretend this was finished. Ready? Here we go, girls and boys. All right. Pretend it's ready. Use your imagination. Come on. You can do it with me. Take this bad boy finished and put it in that holding album. And then when you decide what the most perfect pictures are to go with these layouts, guess what? You'll have them all ready to go. So I hope that helps some of you. 
take apart the kits. Um, they're going to be different. Like these subscription kits, pff, honestly, you can do a double page layout in 15 to 20 minutes if you're a fast scrapper. I used to be a really fast scrapper, but uh, after I was had a hand injury, I am not so fast or prolific anymore, which is why I typically do not scrapbook professionally for other people anymore, which I do miss because it's like such a wonderful privilege to do for people. But I hope this helps you. Um, when you have a different type of scrapbooking kit, for example, like the workshops your way, the prep is going to be more. You're going to have to cut out the um, entire set of, let me get it so much easier. Plus, I can't talk today, apparently. Blah, blah, Glenda. Okay, is that the deluxe? No, that's the regular. Okay. So if you have a regular kit and... Hold on. Let me switch you guys down here again. Okay. I hope you guys are seeing the right thing. I switched everything around the other day again. My friend Evelyn told me how to set it up. I hope it's going the right way. Um, this is a regular workshop your way, which is a typical scrapbook kit from Close to My Heart. You've got the same stuff in here. You've got but here, I'm going to show you. Aren't these pretty colors, you guys? Oh, this, these kits from this heart, I heart just make me so happy. So what they'll show you here, because there's quite a bit more layouts, it'll show you exactly, this is why I love these, by the way. This teaches you to be a smarter scrapbooker with your paper. I always talk about you won't waste paper. No, you're not going to waste paper because this shows you how so in this type of a kit you do have to cut your paper and each paper is labeled to see and i take little you guys will see it i'll show you the prep for the workshops also i take little tiny pieces of the super sticky sticky notes and i cut them all up in little pieces and let's say i cut this little piece out here which is three-fourths, is that what it says? Three-fourths by 12. I would stick 2C. I would write 2C on the little sticky note. Do you see how crazy close to my heart is about teaching you not to waste your scrapbook paper? Because this represents the paper, what the front looks like, and the back, for example. Let me get it closer to you guys. And it shows you exactly what to cut out and it maximizes your use of paper. So then you have a lot more left over to do cards. This is how I started doing cards. I was a scrapbooker, period. I started doing cards so that I could use my scraps. I was drowning in scraps many years ago and I started a habit, and this is a great habit, you guys. When you're done with a scrapbook layout, papers that you're going to have used, you're finished, and you got all these scraps sitting around. If you're not, if you don't have time at that moment, okay, throw them in a baggie and write on it what it is and use those scraps to make a card. I've tried to be so disciplined about that, or several cards, frankly, because like close to my heart, they are overly generous and they always give you way too much stuff. So you'll have lots of stickers and die cuts and all kinds of stuff still left over. And you know what? I haven't even tried to look at the comments yet because I can't quite figure out how to get to them at the moment. So anyway, I hope that this has helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions, anything about scrapbooking, about card making, stamping, cricketing, because I'm a cricket nut. I've had crickets since the first day they ever went public with their very first machine. I've been very tied into them and I love my crickets. I have two cricket makers. My original one sits back here, but my beauty which is the pink and white one, is sitting over across the way. Um, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments 
also, I am now somebody who's working with only 50% of the hand that I use. I'm a full-on righty, and I only have use of 50% of my hand after having surgery. If you have any questions about how did I come back, what did I do, because my hand was like in a claw for a long, long time, and I'm happy to help you with that because, frankly, scrapbooking and doing things that are creative, they will help you if you're not feeling better, if you're not feeling well. Um, it's proven. There's all kinds of scientific proof on my Facebook page, Glenda's Creative Place. There's a whole playlist or a whole bunch of videos. I don't know if I have them in a playlist. There's a whole bunch of them from a couple of years ago that talk about this whole subject. I did a whole bunch of Facebook Lives and there's scientific proof you may not have known this. Some of you people who don't feel well, and there's a lot of scrapbookers who don't, maybe you didn't know why you felt so much better when you scrapbook or make cards or do something with your Cricut, uh, make a t-shirt, anything like that. You might not understand, but it, re it actually produces the same endorphins in your brain as a runner's high, which is exactly like an opiate high, which is what people go and get drugs for they don't need any drugs they don't need any of that they just need to be creative whether it's scrapbooking card making cricket vinyl all of the above and there's sewing there's so many things you can do with this cricket maker it's crazy if you guys don't have one they have them on hsn now on a great sale with a great bundle with all the tools that you need to use every day. I would take a look if I were you. Try to do something creative if you're not already doing it because I promise you, you will feel so much better. It is now scientifically proven. And if you want to see all those videos, they're on my Glinda's Creative Place page. This was supposed to be a short one. I don't think I know how to do short, you guys. But that's just who I am. I love to help people. And I hope that I've helped some of you. Again, I'm going to sign off. Do not forget to leave me a comment. Let me know if this helps you or if you have questions. Let me know if you've ever used any kind of kit for scrapbooking or for card making or any of that. Okay? All right, everybody. I am going to sign off. And I hope all of you... Have a really great, creative next few days, next few months, next few years. Whenever you see this, live viewers and replay viewers, do something creative to make yourself feel better. Bye, everybody.